Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to delete any external file within any location within the windows inside vb.net. So how we can do that? But first of all, we need to create our new project or new file, new and project. Okay. And here you can see Windows Forms application, Visual Basic. So we will click on OK. And we got our project window. Now it is our uh, GUI type window. So what we need to take is to take a push button. OK. OK. Now uh, you need to double click the push button and it will lead us to the callback of that particular push button. And uh, what is meant by callback? Callback is the piece of code uh, like uh, when we use to press this push button, all the things which are inside this uh, button will get executed. Okay. So, okay now. Okay, here. Okay. So, first we will make a simple file. So we will go and we will take this file. We will write it double E. We will write double E. So this is our text file with the name double E. Now here we will write dim df a string. Okay, is a string. Okay. So now what is this df? A dim is used for the declaration of data type. Now df is the name of the variable and it, it, it only contains string type data rather than integer or anything else. So dim df is actually a space, a data or memories storage space whose name is df and it can only store string type data. Okay, now now then we will write df is equal to location where, where, where is your file okay so you need to give the location of your file so this is our location of the file c users dcs desktop okay now w dot txt okay so this is the location of the file now if we want to delete this so we will write system dot io dot file okay sorry system dot io dot file dot delete okay delete okay so this is our and which file system dot io dot file df okay system dot io dot file dot delete dot df so delete belongs to file and which belongs to io and which belongs to system main class so when we will click the push button this code will get executed in our double e file will get will get deleted okay now you can see that when we will click push button one now you, you you can see that our file has been deleted so in this way you can delete any file within the vb.net so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe